Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are playing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley. In today's speed build, we will be creating a cozy and cluttered cottagecore town. And as we start today's speed build, I do want to mention that this is a theme build idea. This is not going to be staying on my valley because I have different plans for this specific location. But several people were asking for inspiration around a overgrown cottagecore town. So I hope that today delivers that inspiration. I've also just been doing a lot of cottagecore builds in the forest of Valor lately. So I really want to try something new over here. So if you have any fun ideas for this biome that you would love love to see me tackle, leave me some ideas in the comment section below. So even though I didn't get every single area completely finished in today's speed build, I think that this idea is so easy to expand on. There's definitely enough room to do some tavern decor on the left side of that building when we get it placed. And I think that you can also incorporate Belle's Cottage into this build too. So you may have noticed through the layout process that I do not have buildings in a straight line on each side. This actually doesn't add a lot of dimension to your city builds. So when you offset some of these buildings it just adds a lot more realism to builds like this and gives you some great dimension your eye has more to look at and it's not just going to one area in the build so this is definitely something that I recommend doing if you're wanting your cities to feel fuller and more realistic especially because we're very limited on how many buildings we can use right now there's really not too much to choose from and another thing that I really love to do if it allows is using two of the same house skin and this is so easy to do right now all you do is you make your main house the skin that you want to use and you can place a additional one through the furniture mode under house. And as you can see, I've made use of this idea with the purple cottage. I have one that is placed correctly on the right side and then the center one is off centered and rotated. So it looks like a completely different house. Anyways, we're gonna continue mapping out our layout and also get started on making our pathway and I'll be using an item called Rocky Terrain and this can be purchased in Scrooge's shop. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes when our pathway is completely placed. So now that I have the first part of my pattern in place, we're gonna work on this little centerpiece with the clock item. This is obtained by finishing Minnie's friendship quest. And then I'm gonna surround it with barrels and different types of florals. And to also blend out the harsh edges of the rocky terrain, I'm gonna hide that with bushes and different types of ferns just to make it look a little bit more overgrown. So after I finish this centerpiece, there will be a couple of transitions just because I did change my mind on how I wanted the florals to look. But I hope that so far y'all are really enjoying this build and I hope it's bringing you some inspiration.
So far, our build is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the rocky terrain towards the Dazzle Beach incline, and then I'll place some pathing also in front of Gaston's house. There will be a couple of transitions when I'm detailing the rest of the build, just because I changed my mind on some of the item placement, but we're gonna be filling in some of the empty patches by this last house at the end of the street with some more beach grass and different bushes, and then I'll do a final walkthrough of how everything turned out. After filling in some areas with more beach grass and bushes, here is how our finished cottage court town turned out. I hope it brought you some inspiration if you are somebody out there needing some inspo on a cluttered, cozy cottage town vibe. In this location by Gaston's house in another house skin, I kept it a little bit empty. That way I can have some natural resources spawning. And then over here, we detailed by the big swamp tree with some more beach grass and different cottage core items. As mentioned in the beginning of my video, the left side by the tavern is not finished but if you are needing some inspiration on how to finish and continue this area, I think maybe doing a fountain spot leading up to where the Frozen Heights incline is would be such a great addition to this build. Another idea could also be doing a little cul-de-sac area or maybe even a farmer's market. Hopefully these will be some ideas to help you finish the build over there if you are somebody who needs some additional ideas. But in general, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's speed build. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Also, before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day.